When it comes to cleaning, I'd say there are only a few things I'm passionate about. And microfiber cloths, that happens to be one of them. They are phenomenal. But you guys already know this. And ever since I got into this whole cleaning game back in 2006, I have seen how microfiber has literally transformed the way I clean, my staff cleans, and the way that you clean. So there are hundreds, probably thousands of uses for microfiber cleaning cloths around the home and office and recreational vehicles and anything else that you have going on in your life. But in this video, I'm gonna show you 25 ways that you can clean using microfiber cloths. I feel so strongly about cleaning with microfiber that I actually found the very best cloths I could and I put my name on them. And a lot of you guys know about Makers Clean Microfiber Cloths. They are now back in stock. I will put a link for you down below so that you can learn more. And if you wanna purchase them, that link will get you there as well. And just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel and give this video a thumbs up if you love cleaning with microfiber. I love seeing a kitchen sink with a mirror clean polish. So to do this, I spray it with some all-purpose cleaner, sprinkle in some baking soda, and wet a general purpose microfiber cloth, which not only helps scrub everything super, super clean, but also helps bring the sink to that beautiful shine. So once I'm actually done all of the scrubbing, I'll give the sink a really good rinse, and then I'll use a cloth to buff the sink to that perfect shine. And here I'm using our ultra plush cloth. Bathtubs can be a bit of a challenge to clean. Even the cleanest tubs, they can have water spots, they can even have some grody stuff left behind from any scrub that you're using. So after you scrub your tub with a sponge, you wanna make sure that you give it a really good rinse. And then in order to get that mirror-like finish, you can use a buffing cloth like this one here to get rid of any moisture and any excess product. That is gonna give you the cleanest tub. To clean a tablet or a television, spray a glass and electronics cloth with some electronics cleaner, and then you can wipe it down using the S pattern. And I like doing this with this particular cloth because it's great at removing fingerprints and bacteria, so you get that nice glassy shine. Many of you ask how to get your stainless steel looking fingerprint free and like it just came out of the factory. Simply use a mix of equal parts vinegar and water and a general purpose microfiber cloth. That will not only remove fingerprints and streaks and whatever else you have on there, but it'll also buff to a nice consistent shiny finish. The office really benefits from microfiber cloths. You can clean a desk that's full of food bits and fingerprints and spilled juice with some all-purpose cleaner and a general purpose cloth. You can also use it for dusting any office components that you have. And then of course, for your monitors or any glass finishes that you have in the office, you can use a glass and electronics cloth and a little bit of either glass cleaner or electronics cleaner, whatever is appropriate. Having a shiny faucet is like the cherry on top of a clean kitchen. So I've just used some vinegar and water here and a general purpose microfiber cloth. It picks up anything that's splashed onto the surface and any crusty bits that are stuck and otherwise hard to remove. I find it hard to function with dirty glasses. So rather than buying a fancy glasses cleaning kit, I'll use my simple electronics cleaner, water and rubbing alcohol, and one of these polishing cloths. They remove fingerprints, dirt, bacteria, makeup, all that kind of stuff with simple, quick wipes. Then I can put them back on and I can see clearly now. When you're cleaning grout and tiles, you're using something like a sponge or a little toothbrush or a nylon bristle brush. But once that's done, you can wipe away all of your cleaning with a general purpose microfiber cloth that's been dampened. That will help remove any of the grittiness left behind by the product and reveal a nice streak-free shine. For a lot of dishwashing by hand, I use a general purpose microfiber cloth. They don't cling on to bacteria, they don't smell, they're much more flexible and easy to work with, even when it comes to heavier duty scrubbing, especially if you let things soak. And of course, waffle weave towels are great for drying. So once I'm done, I just give my cloth a good rinse and I hang it to dry. For a simple points of contact cleaner, you can mix equal parts water and rubbing alcohol. You can put in 10 drops of your favorite essential oil 
and then shake it up. This is all in a clean spray bottle. And this can be used to clean points of contact around the house. So any areas where there might be a lot of bacteria kicking around. Now I'm spraying this on one of my flat weave cloths, but you could also use a general purpose cloth. And that's just gonna help lift up any bacteria or fingerprints, anything that you don't wanna be touching on a regular basis. When you've removed everything from your fridge, give it a good spray with an all-purpose cleaner and then grab a general purpose microfiber cloth and start wiping from the top to the bottom. This cloth not only will help remove anything that's sticky or any debris, but it'll also help dry at the same time. And that's what's so great about using microfiber to do a task like this. Even the most stubborn stains on stovetops can be tackled relatively easily. Here I'm using an enzyme cleaner, and the important thing with those are that you let them sit for about five to 10 minutes to work their magic. And then rather than scrubbing and wiping, I'm just using a big chunky buffing cloth to not only remove product, but also reveal a streak-free shine. So I'm really doing a two-in-one job here. This is a trick that I learned working at restaurants. If you have any silverware with water spots or that looks sort of dull and kind of not great, you can dip them in vinegar and then just use a polishing cloth like this one to remove the vinegar and reveal a beautiful shine. Now, this isn't something you're gonna do every day, but if you have guests coming over, it's a really quick, easy thing to do and it makes a difference. To clean any glass or windows, simply give it a quick spray with your glass cleaner of choice and then use a polishing cloth to wipe from the top to the bottom to remove not only streaks and fingerprints, but marks as well. And the cool thing is one wipe and no moisture is left behind. Washing machines can get kind of smelly if you keep them closed. So what I like to do is pour some vinegar on a buffing cloth like this, wipe the door inside and out. I also give the gasket a good wipe down. Now, I actually do this after every wash, it's just a quick thing I do. You don't even need the vinegar, but you can also use this cloth to clean inside the drum and that's gonna remove any product buildup or any weird odors. This is a great way to maintain your machine. You can use microfiber cloths to clean the interior of your car. The reason I love it so much is because of that electromagnetic charge that these cloths have. They really attract dust, so I always keep one in the car. I use it to clean my dash, remove any fingerprints from the nav system, or even any marks on the glass that I don't want to see. Mirrors are really simple to clean with microfiber. I'm just whipping up a glass cleaner here with water and vinegar giving my mirror one quick spritz using a polishing cloth and the S pattern, of course. And the great part about this is the cloth not only removes streaks, but also I only need to do one wipe. Now, it's not wise to clean copious amounts of grease with a microfiber cloth. You always wanna use something like a sponge or a cotton cloth first because grease really doesn't come out of microfiber all that well. A little bit's okay, but not too much. But once you've actually cleaned that surface, you can use a microfiber cloth to wipe up product and buff dry at the same time, getting that nice, beautiful shine that we all crave. So here I'm just using a general purpose cloth. Microfiber cloths are famous for dusting because they have that electrostatic charge that just attracts dust. You can use it with a little bit of product on the cloth or you can just use the cloth dry and it's great at picking up dust. So here I'm using it for blinds, but effectively any surface that you need to dust, you can use a dry or slightly damp microfiber cloth. To clean your cell phone, I'm just whipping up a little solution here of rubbing alcohol and distilled water equal parts. There's my electronics cleaner. <laughs> this was fun. And I'm going to spray my polishing cloth or glass and electronics cloth, same thing, and give my phone a quick wipe. This removes ear stuff, makeup, bacteria, and finger grease. I use general purpose microfiber cloths in the kitchen every single day to clean the counters. I just douse the counters in product, just an all-purpose cleaner, and then I wipe the counters down using an S pattern with one of these general purpose cloths. It gets rid of crumbs, debris, and it doesn't leave any streaks behind. So it's a one and done job. Cupboards are something you don't have to do all the time, but they do build up 
mess and dirt and fingerprints over time. So again, I just spray a section and then once it's sprayed, I'll use general purpose microfiber cloth to wipe them down. And this will remove fingerprints and crumbs and stuff from your Instant Pot that exploded. It's pretty amazing. It works well and you only need to wipe it once. And now you have 25 more ways to clean better and faster, of course, using microfiber cloths. And that brings me to this week's comment question, which is, what is your favorite use for microfiber cloths around the home? And I'll also ask for those of you who have purchased Makers Clean Microfiber Cloths, let us know what you think of them in the comments down below. Here are a couple of other videos I think you're going to love. And if you want to learn more about Makers Clean Microfiber Cloths, you can click this button right over here. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.